Shall I get my phone out? <laughs> uh, James, many congratulations. What's the sense of emotion at this point? Um, it's not. I mean, no one's given me a chance to let it sink in yet. To be honest, I've just been left, right, and centre since I won. But um, it's such a. I'm just absolutely over the moon with that. Um, you know, I'm glad to hold myself together against you know the best player in the world there, which has you know my crucible debut. Um, you know, so it doesn't get any better than that. How nervous were you though when he was coming back at you and you were eight five up? Um, well, I thought I'd be. I've gone out a little bit nervous, but I, after that, I settled really well. You know, I felt like I was, you know, playing just an, another tournament really, um, which I think was a big part of it. Um, but yeah, at the end when he starts coming back, that's what you expect against Ronnie. I thought at one point he's going to start playing better, um, but I did a couple of good breaks to to sneak frames back, and when he was just about to, I felt like he was just about to get onto a bit of a flow. Um, and then you know he's under a lot of pressure himself. Obviously, he doesn't want to lose to me, and um, you know was, I'm just glad to hold myself together at the end there and, and, and win, yeah. And the way you wrapped it up as well at the end was really impressive. Yeah, uh, my hands are in a little bit. <laughs> when Big fist bump. Yeah, um, no, you know I've, as I say that wasn't an easy clear, and especially you know the brown going round for the red, um, and then the red itself. But you know even the colours at the end, it's not easy clearing them up. You do, I, you know I could do that with my left hand, but when it's under that circumstance. You know, you're happy to just make it round to the next shot, never mind, you know, pot them. But as I say, I'm glad to uh, hold myself together there and it leaves me in good, you know, good memories, that for me. We saw the celebrations to you, that massive fist bump at the end, to the emotion just flow up, flowing out of you. But also your family were there as well, weren't they, watching? Did you manage to pick them out at the end? A little bit. You can't really see very well when you sat there because it's like all the lights and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just more to everyone, but I knew they were around there somewhere. So yeah, it's just nice to, to give a little bit. You know, they're the, my main support. They've supported me when I've not been doing so well, and uh, it's important to remember that. You always had the belief, though, didn't you, going into the match that you could win this? I remember speaking to you, well, it seems like a couple of days ago now, but you did have that belief. Yeah, I think I was just saying then, and, um, you know, if you, you've got a... You've got to believe you can beat anyone, and you know. You, so you, I've I've got so much respect for Ronnie. You know, he's such a great player, and you know, my idol really. But um, you know, there's only so much respect you can have for these people because, at the end of the day, that you've got you've got to go out there and beat them. And if you have too much respect for them, you know, probably I probably wouldn't have cleared up at the end there. So you know, I think it's a fine line of you know having the respect but still believing you can win. I'm sure many people will see it as you know the biggest shock in Crucible history, but I guess you have already beaten Mark Selby this season when he was world number one at the UK Championship. Yeah, I just need to keep playing world number ones, don't I? Um, no, um, as I say, it's just nice to these players are under pressure to beat me. I under, you know I'm, I'm, I understand that, and but there's a lot of pressure out there just in general and on myself. I have my own expectations, and um, you know as I say, I just I believe I can beat anyone, and I've shown that now. You know definitely, and um, I just can't wait for my next game now. How important is it that you, you know, back that win up now and go out there and obviously you're not flat after such a high of today? No, I've, that's one thing I've learned. Um, you know, I, w I won't be losing to Maguire for the sake of being flat. Uh, that's for sure. If he outplays me, that's fair enough. I, you know, I can go away and accept that. But, you know, I did it against Ding a few years ago when I beat him. It was a similar sort of thing. And then the next day I did all these interviews and the next literally I played the following day and I was so flat coming out, it was frightening. And, um, you know, I've learned from that. I've matured as a person as well as a player. I've got a lot of good people, a lot of good friends around me now and a lot of good support. So, you know, I, I'll be fresh for the next game. And does it suit you playing Stephen Maguire? You know he's going to be an attacking player and get on with it. Yeah, definitely. You know, these we had, we had a good game this year in the, um, I think it was the English Open in Crawley or something. And, you know, that was a good game. So I presume we'll have another good game because we're both quite attacking players. But... You know, it's it's just another game and you have to go out there and perform again. It's only I've only won one match. We wish you well for that. Congratulations today. Thank you very much. James, did you know Ronnie was suffering? Um I I could see obviously he wasn't he wasn't playing you know, he wasn't playing well, but I thought, you know, he was a lot he he, he had a few frames in, in it in it where I felt like he was just about to get on a roll again, like at at five four he's come out along red century or ninety, whatever it was. And then after that he's gone fifty, sixty and I I've done a good seventy clearance. And I just sort of stopped it again. And if I don't do that, then maybe he goes on and makes century 80, 90, and I'm out of here, you know, not, not even having this conversation. So I think, um, you know, I've done well today, hold myself together. I haven't sc scored, like, as well as what I did at the qualifiers. I was scoring really heavy there. But um, I did a lot of good pressure clearances when I was gifted the chances, yeah. Were you surprised when you were, as you say, gifted? Because there were a couple of misses you, you might not have expected him to make sat in the chair. Yeah, well, the first four frames, you know, it was what I expected. We're both playing well, both toe-to-toe, -to -toe, if you will. And, um, 
that was normal, you know. And then, he, as you say, he starts missing a few balls which you don't expect him to miss, and then it, it's a bit of a strange feeling because then you you come to the table, you miss one, and then he misses another one, and by the time you know it, you know it's like a catching effect. And I just had to go out today and just um, just play my game, commit to what I've been working on, and um, and and just take one ball, one frame at a time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got my mum, my dad, uh, my sister, yes. my auntie, um, my cousin, and then I've got lots of friends and uh, family and sponsors as well, yeah. Ronnie came out, um, well, he levelled the frame up in his first frame. He looked like he meant business. Were you worried at that point? No, not really. I sort of expected that to happen today. I've, I've done a good break-off, really, but the cushions had changed, and I, I, didn't, I hadn't been told that until Chris... Henry came in and told me that beforehand and um, when I broke off it just slid off the cushion and I'd left the long red which I weren't leaving yesterday which is such a big frame the break off because at this level you leave that long red it's 1-0 and um, you knocked it in century and I, you know that's what I thought would happen but then again the next frame I've done a good 70 after he's had a 50 break and again I think it's just it's just kept me kept me in the match up to the end of where you know I've, I've done well to get over the line. Was there anything Chris Henry said to you sort of overnight because obviously yeah. people in this situation before it was potentially quite a pressurised situation yeah it's nice I've worked with um, quite a few coaches before like Frank Callan uh, Mick Caddy and they've all helped me you know massively to get here today but with Chris he's just took me to that next stage and he's here at tournaments and he's just he knows everything he knows what he's on about and it's nice to have someone here to talk things through you know to, to say everything to and just you know he's a friend as much as a coach and um, you know I owe a lot to a lot to him as well because he's you know, he's telling me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, so we can go on the practice table, correct it, and um, you know, and just just to think well as well. Like, you know, sometimes it's easy out there to get flustered. You know, it's easy to watch it on the telly and think, how's he missed that? But there's so much going on out there, and you know, it's nice to just be able to have someone who knows what they're on about, like Chris, to speak to and put yourself back in a frame of mind which you can you can win the match with. Yeah. This match has only just finished, obviously, James. How far do you think you can go this week? Um, I'm here to win the tournament. You know, I play every tournament to win. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't play. Like, you know, you can't come to a tournament thinking you're going to get beat because you know, again, it's what's the point in playing? Um, so yeah, it's, I've only won one match, which is a great victory over. You know, as I say, my idol and um, Stephen Maguire is another tough game. I'm going to have to play really well, and hopefully, I can I can play well. Do you think there's almost a bit more pressure on you going to be when you play Stephen Maguire? Because obviously, very few people expected you to beat Ronnie, but now. Yeah. Um, not really, no. Um, I've proved that I can play, obviously. Um, I, you know, I've played in the qualifiers and I make the most tons out of all the professionals there. So, you know, the amateur things, I'm not sure, you know, everyone leeches onto it. Mean, it but it doesn't really mean no, it doesn't mean anything. And I think I've, I've proved, I don't have to prove anything now. Um, you know, I've, I've done, I've, I've made, I've got my two-year card. I, you know, I've got, there's a lot of pressure matches this week. I've just beat Ronnie, world number one, you know, the best player and uh, you know I'm going to go out and give it my all next game. Hopefully, do the right things, play well, but you know, see what happens. Do you feel like maybe it's going to be to the lion? Yeah, do you believe more now that it, it really happened? Um, yeah, like obviously, I, as I said before, you know, I believe that I can beat any of these players, and um, I've shown it on numerous occasions before. Um, but obviously, this tops them all, especially as a debutant on the at the Crucible. But you know, I've been on the tour for like four, four, five years or whatever it was before, and you know, I think that leaves me in good stead from what other debutants have come, and you know, they're still learning it. I think I've, I'm quite a mature professional, although obviously I'm not as mature of all these people. I know I've got still a lot to learn, and um, you know, that was just another learning curve there, which I can hopefully build on for the future. What would I do? Sorry, what? Oh, the next few days. Um, I don't really know when I play. I've not really looked into it. So just, just take, I don't know, just go out, get some food, um, see what everyone's up to, you know, all the family, friends, sponsors, everyone that's here, just, you know, spend the times with them. Because as I said before, you know, they were there when I'm, I'm not winning and that's massive to me. But, you know, I just want to thank everyone for their support, you know, social media here today. And um, I just can't wait for the next game now. No, I, I, as I say, if I checked out, I didn't believe I could win, did I? So I've got to stay in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, as I say, obviously, Hendry 
I'm always going to have that connection with him because he was married to my auntie. Um, you know, it's not the worst connection in the world, is it? Um, but as I say, I think I've proved enough now that I'm good enough to, to do it on the big stage, especially. And, um, you know, as I say, I don't think I've got to prove anything now. I'm just going to go out there, do what I can do. And if I do that, you know, I'll, I'll be on these. I'll be here a lot often, a lot more, shall I say. Unfortunately not. No, it's a bit of a shame. Um, but I used to go and play play at um, their house, and um, I used to have a, a couple of frames. But that was literally it. I asked him for a bit of help, and uh, as you say, I just didn't really seem interested. To be honest, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, so I don't owe anything to Stephen. Um, I owe everything to my family, to my coaches, to my sponsors. You know, I, all of them people. That's who I owe my career to. Getting to Mars, right? Um, yeah. Well, I, as I say, I'm here to uh, I'm here to win it. I've, I wouldn't come to you know just to win one match. Um, so I'm just going to take one frame at a time, one match at a time, and and see where it takes me. Yeah, it's hard because obviously I've just come off and I've done about five interviews already in the space of five minutes. So, you know, it's hard to avoid it. They are obviously you've got to do them. But, you know, I've got, I look, this time I've got a couple of days off and, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more mature and, you know, as a player, as I say, and a, and a person now. So I know how to handle it better. And, I, you know, I understand that I, th I think beforehand when I beat Ding, it was such a high. I almost felt like I'd won it, if that makes sense, and I hadn't. And and you know, it, it's just a, another lesson, another experience, and this is another one of them. So, you know, I'm just I know now that when I go out on against Maguire, it's just a, it's just another game. I've got to go out and play well.